Hey guys, we are reorganizing my pantry, finally. I really needed to do this. I wanted to do it the week before, but I was still waiting on some canisters that I use in the video. And so when we went grocery shopping, everything just kind of got thrown in here all crazy. Some snacks and candy got thrown in this area also. We just got our groceries the day before I did this video, so the stuff that would go in the pantry I just left on the table because there was no point in putting it away. I took everything out except for the canned food items. I left that up there to do last. And this is everything out on the table. So first, I was going to start with the individually wrapped snacks and put them in this cute little basket. I did have this in my hall closet. It was holding like lotions and stuff. I like this a lot better because I was able to throw away so many boxes and just keep everything in one space all together. While I was organizing, I moved things around like so many times because I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to fit everything in here. We do have a very small pantry, but we're just trying to work with the space that we have for now. This was a brand new box of crackers and it's never been opened and there was like one little random cracker at the bottom of the box. So right now I am pouring all my girls' snacks into containers. I had restocked on all of their snacks, so I think keeping them in containers will help them last longer. So we shouldn't have to buy any new snacks next week. We will see. I really love these reusable chalkboard labels. I think that they're so cute and very convenient. We do not usually have this much candy, but my husband's been buying like the fun Halloween lollipops lately for the girls and for himself. my baby's awake now so I figured that I would show you what I've been doing so I have these these don't match anything that I have so I'm going to use these as like backups um, and one there's some sugar I'm just going to put these at the top of the pantry and then this one has rice I had a big bag of rice so I'm just going to clip this and put it up at the top and I'll just fill it as I use it. Um, guys, look at these super cute canisters that I got. These are from Barnyard Designs. So I have one for coffee, one for tea. I wish they were all the same size, but they're not. I have one for sugar. So, and, okay. And I have one for flour. These are some nails that I bought. I just had my nails done in my last grocery haul, but those were not the glue on ones, they were the press on ones. And those did not work out well for me and then I realized I was out of glue. So now we have glue, so I'll be doing my nails again later today. I have a bag of flour here, so I'm going to pour it in here. And I also have some sugar that I can put in here. And then I'm going to put all my tea bags in here. I don't think that they'll all fit, but I don't know. We'll see how many I can put in here. 
And then obviously we're going to pour the coffee into here. I'm probably going to use all of the pumpkin coffee for now. My kids are watching a movie and the baby is sitting over here in his swing. You can probably hear him making noise. All right, but this is what we are about to do. I think these are super cute. This is what it looked like when I was all finished. I have all of my baking stuff up at the top and I still have more room up there. My mom just sent me these really nice baking dishes so they will probably go up there also. And down here is where I kept all of my extra tea because that tea canister was actually really small. And we have our extra coffee and my husband's protein powder. Here is where we keep the peanut butter and syrup and canned vegetables. The things that we use more often are up at the front. Everything else is like extra salad dressings or extra sauces. And down here is where we're keeping all of our snacks and the girls candy. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. I hope that you enjoyed it and I will see you guys next time. Bye!